Yoga is, to use a phrase from Pantanjali, who wrote the Yoga Sutras, yoga is the stopping of whirling thoughts. That was his first sutra in um, his main book. And, and I like the way he framed it because um, he saw the importance of uh, reducing distractibility, of reducing the tendency to, um, if you use the phrase monkey mind, the tendency for your mind to, to go off in uh, places that uh, can be problematic or uh, unfocused. In psychiatry and psychology, we kind of explore the whirling thoughts. We delve into the whirling thoughts. Um, and that, you know, that does have its advantages for, for some conditions and for some people. But the alternative of, of really stopping these whirling thoughts is something we really didn't think much about uh, in, in our training and in uh, psychotherapy. Um, and I think that's the genius of, of, of yoga. You know, there are ways that uh, through practice that you can actually stop this, you know, these eddies of, of, of kind of dysfunctional thinking that, you know, we all are subjected to. In therapy, I have a lot of patients who are, who are anxious, many of whom also have substance abuse problems. And in the office, I'll just teach them a little pranayama, little breathing techniques that will help dampen down their level of, of anxiety. And so I'll spend, you know, 15 minutes teaching them uh, to slow their breathing or alternate nostril breathing techniques. Uh, and then they'll practice it at, at home uh, whenever they're feeling anxious. Um, and then the next week they'll come back and we'll talk about what the experience was, was, was like. I also, almost everyone, I, I, I suggest going to yoga classes because those are extraordinarily helpful. I've seen, and of course I'd like to describe it to my, you know, enormous capabilities as a psychotherapist, but it's definitely not the case. But I've seen people who've had very disturbed lives, uh, emotionally dysregulated, uh, feelings of suicide, impulsive, you know, drinking behavior and so on, uh, start yoga classes and after three or four months to really, to, to obtain the state of calmness that, that's, that's pretty amazing up to me, that I don't think psychotherapy alone would be able to um, produce, you know, as a result. So, you know, some people get very, in, you know, engaged in yoga and, you know, do it two or three times a, a week and, and, and feel utterly transformed by uh, the process.